Hello everyone, I welcome you on behalf of Team Bio, which is meant for winning dreams. So before we start yet another insightful session, we will discuss the super power for super result thought of the day for today. So let's see what it is. A little progress each day adds up to big results. So a little progress day by day, it will add up to big results. So whenever we are practicing, whenever we are preparing for examinations, we should not be demotivated thinking that, oh, when will it uh, when will it get over or I'm not probably learning enough or I'm not spending enough time doing a particular subject or a particular question. But don't worry if uh, all days are not the same and if you have been able to make a little bit more progress than the previous day, even that is enough. So do not get disheartened, do not get demotivated because every day, uh, the little progress that you make every day adds up to the big results that you are waiting for. So come, let's start today's topic. So we are discussing a very important topic, which is five proven ways to learn vocabulary for your TISNET. Now, a lot of students struggle with vocabulary when it comes to TISNET. They are like, ma'am, those words are not good. Ma'am, I'm not English or not good. Ma'am, how can we improve our vocabulary? रोज बैठ के वर्ड मीनिंग्स लर्न करने पड़ेंगे क्या करें डिक्शनरी से लर्न कर ले या uh, हमें कुछ ऐसा करना पड़ेगा या बिकॉज़ अब हमारे पास बहुत कम है टाइम है हमने लास्ट मोमेंट डिसाइड किया है टिसनेट देना तो शायद हमें uh, हम हम नहीं लर्न कर पाएंगे और हम वोकैबुलरी वाले पार्ट में वी विल एंड अप लूजिंग मार्क्स सो डू नॉट गेट डिसहार्टेंड जो कम टाइम में ज्यादा वर्ड्स लर्न करने के लिए आज मैं आपके साथ फाइव प्रोवन वेज डिस्कस करूंगी सो लेट्स लुक एट द फर्स्ट वे Use root words. So a lot of us use root words interchangeably every day in our lives. But कभी कभी क्या होता है? We do not know how to use them every day or how to make the right use of them. So in order to make the right use of the root words, what you need to do is that you need to start using them in your daily lives and getting aware कि root words है क्या. So नॉर्मल बुक्स को रेफर करके आप ये देखो कि रूट वर्ड्स होते क्या हैं और रूट वर्ड्स कैसे होते हैं सो गेट अ नॉलेज ऑफ द रूट वर्ड्स व्हिच रियली हेल्प्स इन ब्रेकिंग द वर्ड्स एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग देयर मीनिंग्स और इससे क्या होता है एक बार में आपको सिर्फ एक वर्ड नहीं याद होगा यू विल बी एबल टू लर्न मोर देन वन वर्ड इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट एग्जैक्टली आर रूट वर्ड्स एंड हाउ टू यूज देम व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ईच रूट वर्ड एंड हाउ इज इट यूज्ड it really helps in breaking the words and understanding their meanings one root word helps in understanding many words like i already mentioned so come let us look at a few examples over here ordeal so the root word over here is ordeal this is taken from the latin language now english language is a very interesting language it is made of it has a way its components are taken or derived from various other languages like latin or greek so there are few root words which come from the greek language or the latin language so here we are discussing the root words which come from the latin language so let's look at uh, look at these ordeal is to hear so anything to do with hearing will have the words a u d so in case you are given words which have a little bit about here uh, some words related to a u d and a word which begins with say l o q so you know or l o c so you should know which word is the odd word word out over there i'll tell you how so if it is related to a u d it means listening to or hearing so it means something to hear so audience an example would be audience so who is an audience what is an audience the audience is basically a group of people who have come there or who are present to hear what you have to see which is why they are called audience an example then use this word in a sentence so that you remember the use always the audience was waiting for the speaker to start another word with a u d audiology so logy is the study of anything so audiology means the study of hearing so audiology audiometry is another example of measuring your audio levels so audiometry so this is how a u d words are re related to listening and you know whenever you see any word related to a u d it has got something to do with hearing so i was discussing l o c or l o q so loquacious is another word 
and anything which has to do with loc the loquacious part that means it is to do with a lot of words with who are saying something or the word verb v e r b so verbal is to do with speaking verbose is to do with speaking verbatim is to do with speaking so anything related to verbs and audio audio is related to hearing verbal or verb is related to or uh, speaking so whenever you are confused like suppose you're given an odd one out now you do not know the exact meaning of all the words suppose you're given audiology audiometry audience and you are given a word like verbose suppose you do not know the meaning of the word verbose but you are seeing that the other three words have audiology audiometry or audience whatever the three words were so it is related to aud so you can arrive at the conclusion that the odd one a word out over there will be verbose because the other three are coming from the same root words so that is how root words really help you arrive at the correct answers in the vocabulary section now you have this uh, word this root word called duco which means to lead so we can use it in various words like conductor inductor so these are the words where we can use duco and metal is a great conductor of heat scribier is related to writing so scribe is a person basically when there were no photocopy machines uh, uh, it, the copies were made manually so that person who would make those copies was called a scribe so we have the example over here the scribe refused to write further some other examples with the root word scribe would be inscribe describe prescribe all these words mean somewhere or the other that means to write chronos means related to time so chronology chronicles anachromatic so all these were anachronous all these words are related to time so whenever you look at the words c r o n you know that it has got something to do with time so the incorrect chronology led to the confusion so incorrect chronology that means the order in which the things are arranged i hope the first way is clear to you now the next way is using grouping method now grouping method is when you are reading or when you are given a word list or when you are reading through a word list and you are trying to learn words every single day what you can do is you can start journaling them and grouping them into different in, the similar meanings into one group and you can start using them in your daily lives suppose look at the words here joyful cheerful delighted happy jolly all these words imply the same feeling of being happy so you can group these words together similarly if you come across some complex words then also it is important that you start grouping them make clusters of these groups with similar meanings document them whatever is convenient for you if writing is convenient for you handwriting with a pen with the help of a pen and paper please go ahead and do that if you want to maintain an excel or a word doc because that's what you are more comfortable with please do that so whenever you are learning suppose you are learning words in this order or you are learning new words by reading a book or you are learning a uh, learning new words when you are watching a web series or or a movie you can simply start documenting them you can also further divide it into say feelings or uh, meaning of words or different animals or phobias manias that's how you can divide them and how you can start learning so look at this example word is aggressive so what are the different words which we can use for aggressive so antagonistic assertive bellicose belligerent hostile now see assertive does not necessarily mean aggressive these are all different degrees of being aggressive again assertive means not necessarily aggressive it means that you are getting across your point very in a very straightforward manner so it does not necessarily mean aggressive but for once i can group it so that i can remember that it has got something to do with a little stringent tone bad smelling anything related to bad smell so we have these few words reeky putrid fetid fusty mal odorous so these are various words with different intensity which all show bad smelling so suppose these reeky putrid and mal odorous if you do not understand the word mal odorous you can also break this into root words odor has everything anything or everything to do with the smell so odorless means with something which has no smell at all odorful means something which is very smelly mal odorous also mal shows that it is 
less or it is bad so mal odorous means bad smelling like mal nutrition means less nutrition or bad nutrition right so that is why these root words help us so you know that this is not talking in the positive tone at least so that will help you understand whether this can be the choice of word that you are looking for or not so you do not need to know the meaning exactly but even if you know the root word sometimes it is really helpful agreement when you want to agree to something so you have different words for the same accord compatibility concord conformity consent so these are all words which mean agreement try and make sentences with them use them in your daily conversations it will really help you understand the meaning or the context of how each word should be used dislike abhor detest hate loathe abominate so again the words with ab means it shows that it has something to do with dislike even the word this so dislike that means something that you don't like disdain disdain is also when you have the word dis before it it shows that it you have dislike that you do not approve of something so these small things if you pick up you will understand and you will start understanding words better and use them in your vocabulary now the third way is to use mnemonics mnemonics are nothing but various tools that help us memorize things in a better way तो याद है बचपन में कभी कभी हम क्या करते थे वो गाने बना बना के पढ़ते थे सपोज यू हैड अ लॉट ऑफ पॉइंट्स टू लर्न फ्रॉम हिस्ट्री और ज्योग्राफी और कॉमर्स और वट एवर एंड वॉट वुड वी डू वी वुड जस्ट से द ओके आर ए एस टी ए रास्ता ओके ये पॉइंट्स बन गया आर से रिकमेंडेशन ए से समथिंग एंड यू नो दैट इज हाउ वी यूज टू ट्राई एंड रिकॉल द पॉइंट सो इन दिस केस यू डो नॉट हैव दो यू डो नॉट हैव टू मेमोराइज पॉइंट्स बट यू हैव टू मेमोराइज द वर्ड इट सेल्फ to try and associate the word with any sort of thing that helps you now there are where it can be done according to your convenience whatever helps you like i said so see there is this word anguish okay so i can say angry ish it will still at least help you understand that it has to do something with being angry and being angry has something to do with severe mental or physical pain the anguish against the team is still there so even if you think that this is this will substitute this can be substituted with anger yes it can be the anger against the team so basically when you are disheartened when you are very angry and you are disheartened because you are expecting something that leads to anguish so you can remember it as angry ish okay belligerent again means hostile or aggressive so belligerent would mean if you want to remember it you can just simply belligerent or bully so bully karna mat kon karta hai jo bahut गुस्से में रहता है सो गुस्से में कौन रहता है अग्रेसिवनेस दिखाता है हार्श होता है सो हिज बेलिजरेंट बिहेवियर लैंडेड हिम इन द जेल एलियनेट एलियन कहाँ से आते हैं एलियनेट एलियन मतलब बाहर का तो एलियनेट करना मतलब बाहर कर देना सो टू कॉज टू टर्न अवे सेपरेट ऑफ ए हॉस्टाइल एलियनेट इज रिलेटेड टू एलियन मीनिंग स्ट्रेंजर शी वॉज एलियनेटेड बाई द सोसाइटी ड्यू टू हर प्रेफरेंसेस ऐसे साइड कर देना जिसको बोलते ना वैसे हो जाता है एलियन तो आप उसको एलियन से एसोसिएट कर लो इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद द एलियन द कैरेक्टर लाइक वट एवर वी थिंक अबाउट एलियंस वेदर दे एग्जिस्ट और नॉट दैट इज नॉट वॉट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एलियन मीन्स फॉरिन एलियन मीन सम वन फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड और सम वन हु इज सेपरेट और डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अस सो एलियनेट ऑल्सो मीन्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ वेन यू आर डिस्क्राइबिंग सम वन और वेन यू आर एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू रिमूव सम वन फ्रॉम अ ग्रुप सो दैट इज एलियनेट so you can use these uh, mnemonics to memorize certain words now you can use pictures or images to learn certain idioms and phrases so what happens sometimes uh, suppose you are reading a book or you are reading idioms out of your book or notes when wherever you are doing it so agar a snowball's chance in hell hai to aap simply bas ek aise snowball jaisa bana lo wahan pe so it will really help you and uh, it will okay snowman wala cheez tha theek hai so be to be very unlikely to succeed at something i have appeared for the chartered accountancy papers this year but it's a snowball's chance in hell that i will clear it okay so it is very unlikely to succeed so immediately make a sentence so that you understand the context even if you don't understand the meaning so these are a few idioms that you can uh, memorize as per your wish or uh, then we have chase rainbows so 
to chase rainbows means to pursue unrealistic goals uh trying to clear the need in the first attempt is like chasing rainbows okay so you can just use you know this uh, rainbow okay rainbow se related hai rainbow kya hai imaginary hai matlab milna mushkil hai so chasing rainbow aap usko waise karke use images use pictures even there are even flashcards if that helps you and you have the time you can also do that i will also be discussing a few more ways to few more interesting ways to uh get your uh, vocabulary game up so one of them is the uh, gamifying the process yes gamifying the process means that you can use various games and various format gaming formats to you uh, and uh, use them to improve your vocabulary so that can be done every day using your phones your mobile uh, your tablets your uh, computers anything so it can be a whole lot of fun we have to burst this uh, Myth, uh, bust this myth and burst the bubble that uh, vocabulary is boring and it's uninteresting. We have to start thinking it of and thinking of it as an interesting thing, and it can actually be a lot of fun. So you should start playing vocabulary bingo. So bingo is nothing but I think a lot of you have played at some point of time. But housey, जैसे होती है. So make a word housey and try to give synonyms and try to cancel it out. And when you have one or two or more than two people accompany you, it will help you improve the vocabulary of not only it will not only help you improve your vocabulary, but those others, uh, those of those, uh, 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 those of uh, that of those around you. Wordle. So Wordle is a very uh, recent game that has come out, and you can simply download it, and it's. Uh, the various jumbled uh, letters which are given to you and you have to arrive at the correct word and that's the word of the day for which you have awarded a lot of points and sometimes you do not know the meaning of these words so just look up for the word of the word that you have just unjumbled and uh, that will also help you improve vocabulary while also playing a very interesting game elevate elevate mm -hmm. is another mobile application it's a game and uh, these not this not only has vocabulary but these also have small small grammar uh, rules and games and fill in the blanks type of questions which is in a very interesting format so if you want you can download either of these and try to play that vocabulary.com is a website actually on which you have a lot of ways to explore how good your vocabulary is so these are non conventional ways of learning vocabulary quite contrary to uh, reading books to uh, read uh, journaling the words and or simply uh, you know pick up the dictionary and start reading the words these are a few non conventional modern ways and a fun way uh, to learn vocabulary and improve it and uh, finally finally we cannot mm -hmm. ignore the fact that you should read vocabulary rich content so vocabulary rich content is your good books uh, good articles good magazines whatever topic interests you just start just pick it up just start reading it but do pay attention to the words that have been used okay so these are the five proven ways to improve your vocabulary for tisnet i hope that uh, you had you had an insightful session and these will help you crack your examination and take you one step closer towards your success thank you so much and all the best